Hi guys, uh, I just wanted to share this with you. Uh, this is the uh, uh, little uh, beam that I've made for 20 meters and uh, I've got it over my uh, workbench. Uh, so uh, from there, uh, it's a bamboo cane and uh, when the camera catches up with me, the white balance, uh, that's the one loading coil there and that's uh, the end of that wire is attached to that one meter long length of aluminium there. I've got a, a, a little domestic radio receiver capacitor there. Uh, that's two times 300 picofarad. I'm using just one section of it at the moment and it's a bit twitchy as I'm only engaging about 20 odd, odd microfarad. So I would do better to put that in series um, that would uh, halve the capacitance, it would make it less twitchy when I adjust it and it also means there's no contacts being used which is uh, always good you know you just use the, um, the two halves um, so your connection would go to the two fixed veins and then uh, any current being carried from uh, the moving vein of one to the moving vein of the other is all um, I'll say contactless, there's there's no sliding contacts involved if I do that. But anyway, that, that's not what I've got. Um, that's the gamma there. I'm sorry about if I open the blinds it just kills the camera, it just blinds it, uh, it's uh, too, too bright. Uh, that's just a little bit of uh, adhesive tape that's keeping the gamma, let me zoom in, um, that's keeping the uh, gamma sort of suitably spaced. Uh, then I've got the uh, the other loading coil. I say sorry about the lousy lighting lads. Um, or I should say lads and lasses because I know there's one or two ladies uh, uh, watch some of my videos. Um, and that's uh, that little flag at, at the other end. That's just to save my eyes as I swing this thing around. Uh, that little end is uh, that's the end of the eight foot bamboo cane. Okay, so what I'm going to show you is uh, I'm going to adjust that capacitor and hopefully at the same time show you the SWR um, on the, uh, the VNA, the little uh, mini uh, vector network analyzer. That's that little joker down there. Uh, I've got a lousy connection there to the coax on the end. Um, it uh, doesn't look desperately in focus but I'm a bit tight on spacing here. Um, that should be uh, something like in focus. So uh, this, uh, this marker on the uh, left is at 14.01 um, megahertz and the one on the right is at 14.38 uh, megahertz and the, the 20 meter band uh, uh, pretty well. In, in there. I don't get involved with CW um, but um, uh, you'll see that uh, what I'm going to show you, you could easily pull this aerial to operate uh, down in the, uh, well anywhere in the band. So you'll see I've got this, um, I've put a little bit of tape on here and You'll, you'll see the, the minimum SWR dancing around because I'm getting the uh, two it or further away. Uh, so this is not a real world situation but what I'm adjusting is exactly as it would be uh, I say out in the wild. So I'm going to move this and what you'll see is that uh, that's the SWR dip down there and that's one to one on the bottom. That first line is 1.5 to one which is uh, well, most people are interested in. Um, so I'm just going to adjust that just a little bit. Okay, well, you see, I've just just touched it a little bit, and um, that's put the dip now at 14.04 uh, megahertz, and the SWR is 1.04 stroke 0.05 to one, and I'll just move it the other way. Hopefully the camera's catching that. That's just a tiny little, a tiny little touch there. Now you'll see that's gone to uh, 14.4, so out of the band, and the SWR is 
1.02 there um, so I think within reason you can see that you can uh, set the, uh, the minimum SWR anywhere you like across the band and I think what I'll probably do is think in terms of a little geared drive to, to turn this um, or it might just be that I work on a, a very narrow part of the band but uh, I just thought that was worth showing you because if you've never played with a gamma or, or this sort of uh, tuning um, it, it just gives you a sort of insight as what what you can do by the way the um, by the way the uh, the idea of the gamma there is that tapping point um, sets uh, the uh, impedance uh, match for the for the coax cable so you're you're tapping along the beam in order to find the impedance match and then the capacitor there uh, tunes out the uh, reactance uh, created by that uh, uh, that gamma uh, match uh, normally that would be a rod there that would be a gamma rod and I've, I've got a, a gamma bit of wire but uh, Anyway, um, that's just uh, uh, for me a, a, a short video. I hope it comes out okay and I hope you find it interesting. Um, I'll, I'll just finish up with a, a sort of hopefully giving you a good close up. Now I'll change the lens. Okay, so this is the capacitor and uh, I'm just going to zoom in there. Hopefully, we're still getting everything. Let's bring that there. Okay. So uh, let's say these are the uh, the two markers. So uh, the top one is the red one M1, and the bottom one there is M2. And uh, this one that's differing around is um, the green marker in the middle, which is the minimum SWR. And as I touch the antenna or, or move around, so that's affecting it. Um, but what I'm going to do, I'm just going to. I'm just going to move the capacitor so and everything else. So I'll just turn that and give you some idea how sensitive it is. So that's put the minimum SWR at uh, is it 13.9? If I stand still, it'll be still, and that's at 1.11. Uh, and then as I move it, and it catches up. Okay, so that's uh, 14 meg at uh, 1.03. Uh, so 14.2 at uh, 1.02. Oh, sorry, getting my hand in the way. Hopefully, you can see that. Um, And uh, that, that's taking it out of the band at 14.4 at 0 0.15. So um, uh, I had a couple of um, QSOs, so some little uh, contest, uh, contest contacts yesterday. And uh, working with this little beam um, at just seven foot off the ground, um, uh, I was able to get out. It's um, early days yet but I do want to turn it into a, uh, uh, a multi-element beam and uh, just see um, what I can uh, what I can do anyway I uh, hope you found that interesting uh, thanks for watching bye bye